Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all, welcome to another weekly budget friendly background. And by the way guys, I'm not sure how long I can run this series. I'm kind of running out of ideas. To do everything something new isn't that easy. Anyway, for today I thought I'm gonna play with some um, student grade craft watercolor paint. This happened to be Jane Davenport. And I'm gonna do first the background. And I actually go and I made sure that I have really enough gesso on my manila folder. The thing with the manila folder, it is a sort of a um, slick surface so the watercolor would beat up but the gesso helps to the watercolor to uh, sink in sink it sinks in better we don't want beaded up watercolors and as you can see you know those netting from like uh, from the onions or whatever vegetables you buy that's my next thing. Now that has to dry and again I'm gonna speed it up with the heat gun. So that's pretty much dry. Now um, I want to use not only the netting but also a stencil just because I can and I, I'm not sure how it's gonna work but I know for sure I have to cut that apart because I need it a little bit wider okay you're gonna figure that out together Now I need a dark color and I need quite a bit. Why not a little bit of opera? A really fluorescent color. Right. And I'm gonna use um, one of those cosmetic sponges. Now I think this has to dry naturally. I don't want to remove the netting and I don't want to use the heat gun because that's plastic. I wouldn't feel so comfortable. So I will be back when everything is dry. Maybe I add a little bit more of the opera here. Actually, she doesn't call it opera. She has another name for it. <laughs> okay, now I have to let that dry. So I am back. It seems to be pretty dry. Let's see what it looks like.
there spot where it is not dry yet but I'm fine with that so you actually can see here that I have the not only the stencil but also the pattern from the netting I think it looks kind of cool I think I might try that also with some acrylic paint here I had obviously too much paint which is okay with me but I think it's a fun, fun background again so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and just a little reminder here if you leave my video as the last of today for you uh, YouTube gonna punish me so do me a little favor just switch to another video let it run while you do what you have to do and then close down YouTube I really appreciate that. See you soon again. Take care.